Welcome to Mo Money. I'm your host, Alexander Paul Morris. So, what's with all this talk of offering citizenship rights to illegal immigrants? Come here illegally, work illegally, then jump to the front of the line, ahead of all of the legal immigrants with expensive American college degrees, paying expensive U.S. rent, who, forget about getting a green card or citizenship, are denied simple H-1B visas and sent packing. They say this country was built on immigrants, and that's certainly true. But our forefathers originally came here for quite different reasons, and they certainly did not come here to stage protests and make demands. Now, this generation of illegal immigrants are all rallying for a shot at citizenship, which would of course place us with the burden of guaranteeing their unalienable rights. Already, how many illegal immigrants come here just to give birth to a child who can then become an American and get all of America's benefits? How about changing that law? Don't we already have a hard enough time taking care of our own? It is interesting that somehow the issue of taxation comes into all of this, when the $5,000 or so they earn wouldn't likely qualify them to even pay taxes. In fact, they may even be eligible for a tax refund at that level of income. Then illegal immigrants make the point that they're only taking jobs that Americans don't want to do, and it's really not a threat to Americans. Oh, really? Do you still think they'll want to do those jobs once they become citizens? Blech. Not to worry, though. There will be a whole new batch of illegals flooding in to stake their claim as well. They'll all want their voting rights, minimum wage rights, and hey, why not welfare and social security rights while we're at it? Soon they'll probably even want their own New York City Immigrants Day Parade. Right or wrong, the employers hiring these people are doing so because they can hire illegals so cheaply. Not so much because Americans are unwilling to do those jobs. In fact, many of these businesses likely would have to close their doors if they were forced to pay better wages to citizens. Ouch! Which goes on to the next point. Offer a good enough wage for the job and someone Yes, even an American will likely show up. Note to Senator John McCain, I think I'd also pick lettuce for $50 an hour if I were offered the opportunity. Does that come with a lunch break so I can place a few trades in between? As always, it really does boil down to money. And until we see other countries fully opening up their job markets, perhaps we should focus on other issues, such as allowing a legal foreigner who's spent $100,000 or more in U.S. college tuition and rent, at least a fair shake at an American job. At least we know these people won't likely end up burdening the system in any way, and they may actually return some real tax dollars for the effort.